Hey, how's it going all you most amazing top tanners? I'm Landon Dallasing, and today we're gonna be looking at some pretty horrible tattoos that real people actually have on their skin. Why they do it, I have no idea, but it makes for a good video, right? Okay, so let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into this video. This is the top 10 worst tattoos ever, part three. If you guys missed part two, you guys are absolutely crazy. You guys can click right over here, get caught up with part two, and then come watch this video. So start off this list at number 10, we have Don't Do It. All right, so we have a Nike sign with the logo of the iconic swoosh. However, this thing looks terrible and I'm not even sure why you would want to get a sports logo tattooed on your entire back. How many hours did it take you to shade in that swoosh? It probably cost him a couple hundred bucks, lost of nerve function on his back, and definitely took a part of his ego because this thing just looks terrible. I wouldn't get this tattoo on my back if Nike paid me a million bucks, but two million I would. The king of pop moonwalks into number nine. I know there are a lot of people who probably have the Michael Jackson tattoo somewhere on their body, and it's probably turned out pretty good. Well, for this poor guy, his tattoo did not turn out good at all. I mean, it doesn't really look like MJ. The nose is way too simple and the eyes are all wrong. And then take a look at the next text. This is where the tattoo really fails. It says, he touched so many. Yeah, they actually requested that writing to be on their skin forever. Remember that whole controversy with Michael Jackson being accused of touching kids? Well, this tattoo doesn't help. I Love You comes in at number eight. This is actually a pretty popular choice for a simple tattoo. However, I don't think this person knew what they were getting themselves into. Take a look at this. Yeah, it looks like it says I love poo, not I love you. What a fail. This person brought in an old card that was signed by their grandma and they wanted to get a replica of it onto their skin. I don't think grandma would be mad if you fixed it up just a little bit to make it not say poo. It's a pretty cool idea for a tattoo, good concept, but it failed miserably. Next up, number seven, we have a person who has made some pretty poor life decisions. Take a look at his awful tattoo. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. You definitely made some pretty bad choices. Why would you even consider getting that permanently tattooed on your skin for the whole world to see? How about you make one good decision in your life and Google local tattoo removal shops and then go into one and get the tattoo removed. Okay, number six brings us to a five-year-old tattoo artist. Okay, a five-year-old didn't do this tattoo, but it looks like one did. I mean, what is this even supposed to be? It looks like an alien who got cut in half, but I could be totally wrong. I need your guys' help on this, huh? What do you think it is? It's just such an awful looking tattoo. It could literally be anything. I feel like this tattoo artist fell asleep or had a seizure during this appointment and was like, oh shit, how do, uh, ooh, I'm just gonna say this is, uh, this is work of arts. Circle marks the spot makes it in at number five. Oh, look, it's a picture of a mother and her newborn. Wait, what is the thing around her eye and on half of her face? Oh, it's a tattoo. Wait, she willingly got this tattooed onto her skin? Why? I literally don't see the appeal to this. How much did this even cost you? I could have just drawn this on with a Sharpie, call it a day. You're, you're probably gonna be able to remove it one day. This newborn is even judging you. Number four brings us to a big mistake. Well, all of these are big mistakes. This is a big one. Okay, I'll admit, the rose doesn't look that bad, but the text surrounding the rose needs to go. Like a thorn, just let it go. I guess the tattoo artist did the writing freehand, but maybe he should have double checked his spelling. I bet you he finished the tattoo and was like, all right, Bob, take a look. What do you think? Um, I think you spelled petal wrong, petal. Oh, okay, Bob, no worries. I know exactly how to fix this. Well, I'm sorry, but you definitely need to fix or save this tattoo. This is probably one of the worst attempts at fixing a tattoo ever. Tough guy makes it into number three. Hard to love, easy to hate. Wait, is he talking about himself or the tattoo itself? Because he's right. It is easy to hate and hard to love. It bothers me so much that he didn't even spell the word two. Instead, he used the number. It makes me hate him even more. A religious tattoo comes in at number two. Even though his tattoo says, that only God can judge you. I'm judging him pretty hard right now because the tattoo artist spelled to judge it wrong. He spelled it with a G and not a J. You started the, the, the word with a fail. This is a pretty sinful mistake. I think it's safe to say that his tattoo artist is going straight to hell. Finally, at number one, we have a scary family portrait of a mama. Holy sh if my mama looked like that, I would never get a tattoo of her. And I'm trying not to be rude here, but what's with the yellow sun background thing? Did the artist honestly think that they would make it better? And what are those red marks on her face? I really hope this poor soul didn't get this tattoo in a visible place because this would be pretty shameful. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs>